meteorologist Dan Tomaso. Getting into the time of the year where you don't get as much sunshine during the day and the daylight hours are starting to shrink. We're not quite to fall yet, but today through Thursday certainly feel like it outside. And why I say we don't get as much daylight in some respect is because of the cool weather and the clouds it promotes coming in from the north, but also moving to the south. So it's not just uncanny seeing the clouds, but a nice bright now coming on through those clouds heading down river and we're seeing more clouds the farther south and east you go to Kinzer's getting a fair amount of sunshine, but also that cloud bank inching a little bit closer to at the same time. Yesterday we managed to get to 81 pretty impressive considering that we didn't have a ton of sunshine. We had showers and storms, but there was still warm air and humidity in place by by the way, even though it felt like it was raining at points nonstop, it never added up. We didn't have the rainfall rates, how fast it falls to allow for big totals out there. So just around a quarter of an inch, I think for many or even less than that. Here's radar now much quieter, even though those clouds look menacing at times dark too. Again, we're not seeing showers from them. We are seeing showers closer to the area of low pressure to the north, but on the back side of that low getting this strong northwesterly fetch that's bringing in more cool air today. And by the way, it's going to continue doing that through tomorrow before return to warmer air by Friday. Now here's current temperatures low to mid 60s. These have not budged. So again, based on trends, we may not hit 70 degrees in some spots, noticing the winds either out of the north or northwest pretty strong, but also pretty tame by fall weather standards, even winter weather standards. There will be more wind to come in the in the coming months, but we have that wind because of that stubborn area of low pressure and high pressure trying to nudge in. So that pressure difference driving the wind, driving in the cool air, less human air coming in from the north. So today that means pleasant weather. Nice day to be outside if you can get out there and then if you can't this evening, Temperatures will drop quickly, likely starting to see 50s pop up just after dark and then through tomorrow. A cool start to the day, still a lot of sunshine for the afternoon, highs in the low 70s, but keeping any showers off to the north once again through the day tomorrow. And look at temperatures here today. It's still optimistic at Precision Cast that we get to 70 degrees, but notice the drop off here tonight. The sheltered valleys easily into the upper 40s through tomorrow morning. Lows near 50 degrees for most of us. And then in the seven day forecast, we have several more mornings like that. Again, Thursday morning could be cooler yet. So keep that in mind. By Friday, we're going up to 82 degrees. That return flow gets here and the pattern turns much warmer, Kayla. So middle to upper 80s Saturday and Sunday, nearing 90 for next Monday. So it's not all about the cool weather. It's basically three days of that, followed by about maybe four or five days of where we should be for this time of the year. Again, yeah. it's still August. We don't expect a big drop off yet. That'll come in September into October. Perfect. And uh, I'm going to enjoy these uh, cooler days, though. I'm craving an apple cider donut, as I well, told you. Well, I was going to say, with everything <laughs> starting earlier now, whether it's apple cider or pumpkin spice, this is the weather for it. This is indeed. The colors just haven't changed outside. It's still very green. Yeah, it is green out there. <laughs> yes, and it is still summer, Absolutely. as you said. Thank you so much, Dan. We'll be right back.